Welcome to another episode of the Electric Samba Project. If you've been following the series, you will know that these days I find myself playing around with some recently acquired Tesla battery modules. Last week, I discussed a little bit about the module's details. Today, I will discuss possible ways of wiring them in a car and then actually install them in the Samba to go for a ride. My name is Jehu Garcia. I'm a business owner, self-professed engineer, and an overall dreamer. For the past two years, I've been building my dream car, something that retains all the elegance of the classic 50s design, but at the same time make up the latest the modern technology offers. Now, how do you exactly do that? By making it electric. Follow me on my journey, through all the struggles, the challenges, but ultimately the satisfaction of growth and success. The modules are 22 parallel and 15 cells in series. These cells are 3.7 volts nominal and you can charge them to 4.2 volts. So fully charged, the modules will give you 4.2 times 15, about 63 volts. If you connect two modules in series, you will have 126 volts right after fully charging them. Pretty much a perfect match for any HP EVS system using the 96 volt Curtis 1238 controller. Of course, voltage is just half the story. Even though the voltage is pretty much a perfect fit for my system, you have to take into account current. The 1238 controller draws up to 650 amps at full throttle. If you take a look at the individual modules, you will see that each of the 330 individual cells are fused on both sides, the anode and the cathode. Plus, there is a 100 amp A50QS100-4 fuse on the negative terminal. So on paper, each string of two modules in series will serve up to 100 amps of the 650 amp needed to run my system to full power. So in theory, you will need a minimum of six strings to run a 650 amp system. These modules here came from the first battery pack we got our hands on. Each pack has six modules. We experimented, you know, in the lab with one module. So that leaves me with five modules. But since I need pairs, that means that I could only and currently have four to install and experiment with my Samba. Now, we pretty much know what's going to happen when I try to draw three times the current these modules are fused at. But since there are a lot of these modules coming our way, it's important to see how far we can push them. What's going to fail first, the main 100 amp fuse or the individual cell fuses? Now we just don't know until we test it. And of course I can test them here on my bench in a control environment or I can have some fun on the Samba and go for a drive. All right, let's do it. Let's put these puppies to the test. How do you know? The Samba's rolling around with actual Tesla battery. Here you can see to your right that I'm using two cell logs to monitor one module. Every single group of cells is represented by one bar. Bruce and Wayne are my sidekicks, so they come along for this test. So the voltage is uh, was about 123, I think. So. Down to 95, 400, so they are sagging quite a bit. Um, but then again, keep in mind, there's only 44 cells pushing this car right now.
I can push more than 400 amps right here in this little hill. Let's do it. All right, 200, 300, 400, 30, 500, 642. Ooh, I think I blew a fuse. Something happened. So no surprise, two of the four 100 amp fuses blew when I was trying to push 650 amps through the system. Fortunately, I was able to switch battery packs by just flipping a switch and thus make it back home. All right, well, that was fun, but here's a question. Did we actually learn anything? from this our little test here well i think we actually did um one we learned that uh, cells actually dished out 650 amps that's uh, quite impressive for those little cells uh that represents a 6c load or near a 6c it's uh the, each module is about 55 amp hours and so we had two par uh, two uh, parallels so the battery pack is really 110 amp hours uh, and you're pulling 600 so 660 would be 6c um, the system did hit 650 just momentarily um, the hp avs uh, little system uh, display it show, was showing me amperage and it showed 650 amps for a brief moment before the uh, before the fuses failed. Um, another thing that we learn is that the cells uh, become warm to the touch rather quickly. Um, I think our whole test took about 15 minutes and um, we weren't pushing it really hard the whole time. We were, you know, drawing an average about 200 amps most of the time and then, you know, just going up the hills there was a few times. Uh, where there was uh, spikes and up to 400, 500 amps, and then that last one that was about 650. So, uh, the cool thing is that, of course, they are water cooled. Uh, I mean, they're liquid cooled. They have everything that you need to be able to cool them. And um, I wasn't running any cooling through them, and uh, because I wanted to see exactly. Uh, what the temperature would be just running them straight and then i want to run a second test where i'll be able to well i'll hook up some cooling to them and then just see you know um uh, how much better they'll do uh, we might be able to uh, be able to drive one of these systems with six modules because that is one battery pack uh, so we won't have to break additional packs to 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 be able to use with this i mean you you can or you will will be able to if you wanted more capacity or more range on your battery but um, we want to see if the minimum amount of modules that you use are the six that are you know, included in in one battery pack so that's that's the test that we want to do here um what else did we learn oh we also learned that the uh uh, the, the fuses that are replaceable, which are the Shamit 100 amp ones, um, they're obviously designed to blow before the individual cell fuses do. Uh, it kind of makes sense because, you know, you don't want the little fuses that are not really replaceable. You can't really fix them to blow before the one that you can replace. Uh, so the one question really remains. Um, uh, what are the individual self uses rated at? Um, we don't know. Um, I was thinking about actually putting like a bigger fuse or just bypassing running the packs on fuse and then running it again 650 amps and see if I could uh, blow, start blowing those fuses in, in each individual cell. Um, but the more I'm thinking about it, I, I just can't get myself to damage another module you know we did uh kind of destroyed one um originally when we were trying to see if the cells would be able to come apart and you know we would be able to rearrange them 
Um, this time though, I don't, I don't want to destroy another one, and the reason why is because there is another way of doing it. We have, uh, you know, the 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 original module that we destroyed. We still have it here, and it has good cell fuses uh, still intact. So I could actually run a test and in one of them, and then uh, figure it out. So I think that's that's the better way of doing it. So let's do that right now. So thank you for watching this video. Uh, make sure to catch next week's episode for more electric samba adventures. Uh, next week. Folks, if you enjoy my videos, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and join the conversation down below by leaving a comment. Uh, if you don't, then also leave me a comment so I can make these videos better. Thank you.